Hello and welcome to our presentation on our analysis of mosaics conjecture and taxicab geometry. My name is Sam Gruber. This is William Fulford and Alex Fires, and I work alongside them under our mentor, Dr. Deborah Gladden, over this research. Uh, our research is in the shortest polyhedron problem, which aims to minimize the ratio between a polyhedron's edge length to its unit volume. And previously, Melzak conjectured that the equilateral triangular prism would be this edge length minimizer. Uh, in Euclidean space, but that has never been proven. So this has been looked at in Euclidean space, but we decided to look at it in a non-Euclidean space called taxicab space. Now, what the heck is taxicab space? Well, taxicab space is changing what the distance between uh, two points is. So in Euclidean space, you have two points, the shortest distance between them is just a straight line through it, sometimes diagonally. Taxicab space says you're not allowed to go diagonally. So in this case, you have to and go over and across. You can only go vertically and horizontally in taxicab space, which changes some of our distances. So you can see in these two triangles, one of them is in Euclidean. The shortest distance between those two points is square root of two. But in taxicab, you have to go over and then up. So the distance between it is actually two. Uh, so taxicab space is like a taxi in Manhattan in 2D. So you want to get between two points. You can't just drive in a diagonal line straight through it or else you're driving through buildings. In 3D space, think of it like an office building with a bunch of cube offices and you're trying to string wires through the building. Now you can't just string the wires straight through the room that gets in the way of people and objects. So instead you have to run it um, across the wall, across the ceiling, across the floor, um, but not diagonally straight through the room. That's basically um, taxicab geometry in 3D space. Melzak's conjecture is what is the, in 3D space is what is the smallest uh, shape, what's the least amount of wires we can use to, um, in a polyhedra to cover a certain area. So because of this change in length, polyhedras whose definitions are dependent on length don't translate directly from Euclidean to taxicab space. So for example, pictured here is a taxicab circle. You might say, what? That's not a circle. In taxicab space, it is because a circle is a bunch of points that are the same distance from the center. And in taxicab space, that's actually a diamond. And because of this difference in lengths and spaces, we, um, different solids don't translate directly from Euclidean into taxicab. Because of this, we have to um, analyze each polyhedra individually to find an accurate way to represent it in taxicab based on its area and volume. All right, so when we switch from, ta from uh, Euclidean geometry to taxicab geometry, certain polyhedra no longer exist. Um, so for example, a uh, equilateral triangle, triangle does not exist anymore because I can't physically make the points touch when every side is the same length. Um, so the switch from Euclidean to non-Euclidean, um, in this case, taxicab, um, introduces entirely new classes as well um, because some, uh, some shapes that were not considered polyhedra before now will be such as spheres, uh, cylinders, paraboloids. Um, so it's, you can see it's gonna be a really interesting problem. Um, so here's a taxicab sphere. Um, it's an octahedron. Um, and uh, we analyzed the volume formula and we got that the minimum edge length for unit volume is going to be around 21. Here is a taxicab cylinder. Again, um, a cylinder, a sphere, those are not polyhedra in Euclidean geometry, but they are in taxicab geometry. Um, a cylinder, uh, we're going to consider a circle in the xy plane, which William told us is a diamond. Um, we're going to extend it into z, and after finding the volume formula that appropriately represents this in taxicab space, we find that the um, least edge length we can find for unit volume is going to be around 15. So the cube is the only shape that's going to be unchanged when we translate it into taxicab space. Um, so using Lagrange multipliers, which is a way to minimize um, uh, uh, equations in reference to each other, uh, we find that um, the minimum of a rectangular prism is the cube, um, which is going to be 12, which is the same in Euclidean space. Um, so even though we said that the equilateral triangular prism is the smallest um, in Euclidean space, um, all triangular prisms are not always uh, smaller than the cube. Um, so there are sometimes some other triangular prisms that are larger than the cube, and they do exist in uh, taxi gap space. So let's look at those. We use the Lagrange multipliers again to minimize the triangular prism, and we find that the length of the the minimum length is going to be around 13. And from all of those, we have our table of results that compares the uh, taxicab to Euclidean geometries. And the main takeaway is how the cube is preserved, 
but it is now in taxi cab smaller than the triangular prism's approximate value for this perimeter edge length. And from this, we can conclude that a triangular prism is no longer the edge length minimizer in taxi cab geometry, which leads us to conjecture that the cube will be. And we can prove that for a certain shape, it will, if it has angles that are operating in a certain way, those do not have to uphold the same way in a translation across geometries. And we have, from all this, we have expectations for further research, and we are hoping to prove that our conjecture from before. And that will conclude uh, where we're at right now. And thank you guys so much for listening to our talk.